In this video, I'm going to be talking about laser resurfacing, if it's right for you, and what to expect should you have the procedure. Firstly, what is laser skin resurfacing? Laser skin resurfacing is a process which uses a laser to remove the top layers of skin from the face, as well as heat the underlying laser skin and tighten skin. So it's best used on people who have wrinkles or skin texture concerns, and it's also used for those who have a lot of sun damage or skin pigmentation. Also, it's a very good skin tightening procedure. In particular, it's good for tightening skin around the eyes. Most commonly, two lasers are used, and these are the carbon dioxide laser and the erbium laser. Because these lasers are attracted to water, and the skin is mostly comprised of water, these lasers are able to take a layer of skin off by vaporizing a very fine layer of skin just on the surface. Usually this is where all the skin irregularities or sun damages occur. In addition to this, the carbon dioxide laser heats a layer of skin underneath the layer of skin that it vaporizes and this helps to shrink the skin by denaturing the collagen which makes it bounce back into a tighter shape. The erbium laser doesn't have this ability to heat and tighten skin but it's able to remove and vaporize skin with very little residual heat energy. So we use this as a secondary part of our laser resurfacing to clean up any debris that might be left on the skin. Laser resurfacing is generally limited to those people who have very fair skin types. It is most commonly used on the face. However, it can be used also on the neck and chest and back of hands. However, these areas, because they don't heal as well as the face, tend to require a much lower laser setting. So at your first consultation with your doctor, your doctor will take a comprehensive medical history from you and examine your skin. They'll see whether your skin is suited to this procedure and whether your skin type is suited to this procedure. This procedure can be done with light intravenous sedation to a general anaesthetic. The procedure is done in an operating theatre under sterile conditions to prevent any bacteria from infecting the newly resurfaced skin. Local anaesthetic is injected into the face prior to laser and this helps to give you a degree of pain relief once the procedure is done. In most cases we apply the carbon dioxide laser twice and do two passes and this is followed by one or two passes of the erbium laser. After the procedure the skin appears very red and raw and it's quite swollen as a result of the laser in addition to the local anaesthetic that's injected. Vaseline is applied to the skin after the procedure and this needs to be continued for about 7 to 10 days afterwards. You may experience a fairly significant degree of heat for the first day after the procedure is done. Recovery from laser resurfacing is generally long. In most cases it takes about one to two weeks before you can even go out of the house. In most cases we recommend that you take two weeks off your normal activities or work and usually by the 10 to 14 day mark you can apply mineral makeup. Redness may persist for two to three months, however during this time you are able to wear makeup to cover up this redness. Aftercare following laser resurfacing is extremely important for you to get the best results possible. Firstly, it's important to wash your face four times a day after laser resurfacing. You can start this either the night of the procedure or the next morning. After washing the face, it's important to apply Vaseline to the face immediately and keep the face moist at all times. This is important so the skin doesn't crack and dry and scab prematurely. You'll be required to come into our clinic for the first four to five days to have your face washed by one of our nurses and to have skin checked by one of our doctors. What we've found is that patients are much more comfortable coming in every day, although it is a bit of a hassle, because that way they feel reassured that they know they're doing the right thing. Also, it gives the doctors an opportunity to check on the skin and to see if there's any infection, which is really the main risk of this procedure. Before undertaking any procedure, it is important to understand the risks and complications associated with it. With laser resurfacing, there are a few complications that you should be aware of. Firstly, there may be some skin complications that occur, and these may include prolonged redness or sensitivity to the skin, easy flushing of the skin, and this may last for up to six months. Occasionally the skin may react after laser resurfacing with amelia or acne formation. This left untreated usually resolves itself. It's important not to touch these or disrupt these in any way. 
Infection is one of the real concerns when we do laser resurfacing of the skin. Because the skin is raw and left highly susceptible to bacterial or, or viral infection, we usually like to examine you on a daily basis to see what the status of your skin is, as well as prescribe some antiviral and antibiotic medication for you before and after the procedure. Should there be any sign of infection, such as a painful, more red or pussy area, we immediately need to take a swab from this area and send off to the lab to see if there's any bacteria growing. If there is any bacteria growing, we need to treat it immediately with strong antibiotics and make sure there are no consequences from this infection. Quite commonly after laser resurfacing, the skin can become a slight shade lighter than its normal colour. Usually when we do laser resurfacing, we finish just under the jawline, so this change in colour is imperceptible. Darkening the skin is another side effect that occurs, although this tends to occur less commonly. If darkening the skin does occur, a lightening serum will need to be used for a few months and this will return the skin back to its previous colour. Scarring is an uncommon complication of this procedure. If it occurs, it is usually the result of infection which has not been properly treated. There are also risks as a result of the sedation or anaesthesia and with modern anaesthesia these risks are very low. In most cases people equate the risk of anaesthesia to the risk of driving a car. Laser resurfacing is a very effective procedure. It's something we do a lot of at the Victorian Cosmetic Institute. What I love about this procedure is the fact that it causes profound improvements in the skin. The degree of skin tightening for a non-surgical procedure is impressive and the degree of wrinkle improvement and skin texture improvement is also very impressive and profound.